Yo, what's going on guys? Thanks so much for stopping back by. Today we're going to be discussing the shadow pan reputation and how to get started. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. To get to Pandaria, you're going to want to take the portal from Stormwind inside of the Mage Tower to Jade Forest. Before we head over to start the dailies for reputation with the shadow pan, we're going to want to head over to Kunlai's Summit to kill Shah of Anger, which gives a quest item that will reward you with some minor reputation towards the shadow pan. If you've done this quest already, you can go ahead and skip this part. Once you arrive in Kunlai Summit, open your map and you'll see a world boss marker for Shah of Anger. Head on over and away to spawn. It can take up to anywhere between 5 and 15 minutes for him to respawn depending on when he was last killed, so hang tight and he'll be back shortly. You'll realize he's spawning when white shit starts a shooting everywhere. Dismount and be ready to tag the boss. Unfortunately, the boss does spawn kinda quick, and since this expansion was so long ago, he does die just as fast. So if you're not dismounted, you may not be able to tag him in time to get the loot. Once you've killed the Shah of Anger, you should get a Claw of Anger in your bags. This item will start a quest that will lead you over to begin the Shadow Pan reputation. All right, so now that we have the quest item, we're gonna go ahead and head over to the Town Long Steps, and we're gonna move towards the Shadow Pan Garrison. So, once we arrive over at the Shadow Pan Garrison, we're going to be looking for Ban Bearheart, who, in addition to providing the daily quests, is also the individual we're going to want to turn our quest that we just picked up from the Shaw of Anger in with. Ban Bearheart will give you a series of four to five quests a day, starting with the Mogu Menace, Spiteful Sprites, Egg Rescue, Little Hatchlings, and In Spite of Everything. There are three different series that there is a potential to get each day. Uh, and as you go on, additional NPCs around the Shadow Pan will start to provide daily quests as well. Ling of the Six Pools gives a series of Manted quests, and Master Snowdrift will give a series of Young Gold quests in the East. To add on to this, if you haven't done the quests in this area, I highly suggest picking them up as they reward significant reputation towards your way to Exalted. They're pretty simple and straightforward if you're max level, and they can be done within a time span of 10 minutes for each chain. You can also choose one of three daily companions to join you on your adventures while you do your daily quests and miss a Pandaria towards your Shadow Pan reputation. Once you've collected all of your daily quests, we're going to head over to the island of Shanzi Dao, where we'll quickly and efficiently clean everything up and head back to turn them in. Once you've arrived on the island, start to kill the monsters that you need to collect the loot. Most of the quests that you receive for these dailies are simple killing, gathering, and looting quests. In total, it took me about 5 minutes to do all 5 of the quests, and the drop rates for every item is pretty high as well. Once you've completed the quests, go ahead and head back over to turn the dailies in. This part here I realized after, but if you bring a companion along with you, they will also provide the follow-up quest, therefore you don't have to fly back and waste additional time. If you're like me and you forgot to bring a companion with you, let's go ahead and back over, turn in the quest, and Ban Bearheart is going to give you a follow-up quest. This follow-up quest will likely take you back to the island that you were just on, but it's pretty simple and straightforward. Once you get back to the island, depending on the quest you received, go ahead and complete that. In this video, we are riding dragons, killing them, and freeing them from the spell that they're under. It takes about a minute, maybe, since we're one-hitting everything, and then you'll just head back over and turn it in. Once you completed the dailies, you're pretty much done for the day, unless you've hit Revered. Up until that point, you only get a certain amount of quests per day. Now, when you do hit Revered, don't forget to buy the 100% bonus reputation boost, which will help you get from Revered to Exalted fairly quickly. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll catch you next time. Peace.